Stephen, do you have some kind of a recap sheet showing what retainage the precinct has? Are you down to ground zero when you're at the end of the year? How much money has been carried forward? What's the state of the precinct's bank account, basically? We have a good good amount of money in the bank. <laughs> um, but I think you that would... That you you can answer. You know the figure. If you yeah, know the I figure. think that would be appropriate if the budget committee that? had a sheet no, showing the... About the, the what you're talking about... The you asked that question last year. I do. Okay. It's it's, and it's off. Fortunately, me, I know. Fortunately for me, Ben Moore was sitting. Yeah. You may remember. Yes. On this, okay, and he explained it um, as far as accounting goes. Yeah. As far as the DRA goes, that's simply a cash asset. It's just another asset right. that the village district has, just as the town has assets. Mm -hmm. So it just happens to be a cash asset. It's not required on any DRA document. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted to know what's in the uh, in the checking account right now, I would say I've already started spending money because uh, we've had yeah. to, you know, we have to put down payments on right. on some of these programs so they can get the wheels started. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, I would say that there's a good four hundred thousand dollars in okay. there. So now, I'm just what the, re the reason, if you don't mind, the reason that we have such a large amount of money. In the account is years ago, um, when Skip was cha Skip Windermiller was chairman. The way the town collects the taxes, they collect the taxes for us, which we appreciate, and they distribute it back certain percentages as we go. Well, the way our money is spent, we spend a lot of money up front. Yeah. And w the, uh, from what Skip used to tell me is, they'd have to go to the town basically begging for mm -hmm. our money. Yeah. So by building this account up. We don't have to ask. We can spend the money, and then when the tax money comes in and the town wants to give it us our money because they're getting it in dribs right. and drabs as well, that's how we would we would get the money in the account. Right. So, I'm just <coughs> thinking Mary Louise, is your question basically what is the low ebb on the checking account balance at the lowest well, point during the course of the year? Is I'm not just looking for checking account balance. I'm looking for if there, I don't know if there are any funds remaining. I just literally don't what know happens? if there are funds remaining. I just want just, just a little a bit of history. Just a little bit of history. Overview. Okay. Because of the action by uh, Timothy Jones in questions that he asked of the village district. Uh -huh. I have a formal written agreement with the town's treasurer. Now, what happens is, and the way I have worked it out with the town, yeah. is that they pay me a hundred thousand. Well, it's it's divided into into <laughs> pieces. <coughs> they pay me thirty percent in June, thirty percent in July, yeah. thirty percent in August, and then whatever's left yeah. in December. Now, mm -hmm. the the way the reason it works well with the town. Mm -hmm is because they don't have to go out and borrow money right. to pay me, yeah. to pay the village district, yes. okay? So the way we've got it set up now, it works very well. Yeah. Now, do I ever get to the point where um, I'm getting way down there? Well, by the time I start getting the first, by the time I get the first <coughs> check, at sometime in June, yeah. that checking account will be uh, approaching uh, 100 thousand and minus okay mm -hmm. now the the thing is that we had money that wasn't spent last year okay mm -hmm. and last year we had as well we had about fifty thousand dollars the year before I put that on the DRA form and it, it, we reduced taxes we didn't carry that fifty thousand mm -hmm. this year we have a surplus of I'm calling it a surplus but that's not the technical term Unexpended. Mm -hmm. money. Um, I don't know if it was about twenty-five, twenty-seven thousand mm dollars. -hmm. That's being, again, to reduce taxes. We're not carrying that over. We have enough in the thing now. We've built up enough in our checking account. It's just like the town mm -hmm. has five million dollars plus, okay, yeah. that they carry in their checkbook. Because you've got to keep running the. Right. You've got to keep writing checks. You don't want to have to go out and borrow money. I, to I appreciate do it. that, so and I don't want to get anybody upset. I just want to understand. And now, are we going to have a feeling here or at your annual meeting at the end of March? Are you going to be telling your voters what amount might be surrendered to help offset their tax rate? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so you don't have that yet. And the other thing I'm looking. I actually I do. It's oh. you know it's 
But Where? you have to understand, well, it's on the MS-37. Oh, okay. The, as a line, under um, estimated amount of taxes to be raised. But you have to understand that right now, what we're doing here with this budget mm -hmm. is what the DRA is interested right. in. Right. The revenue, as you know, with the town, the mm -hmm. village district and the mm -hmm. school district does yeah. it the same way. In September, I have a deadline and I have to supply the DRA. DRA with, right. With yep. I think it's an MS 34 or 35. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I know what the revenue is mm -hmm. because by then, we, the summer is almost finished. Right. And I know if we've had a good summer, we're going to have a lot of parking revenue. Mm -hmm. um, we may have more sponsorship money. And that's when the DRA needs an exact number because it's in October, as you know, right. when they set the tax rate for the town. So this this number right now, the carryover from last year, it's on here somewhere. I can't find it right at the moment. But but, but yes, at our annual meeting, that will be made known. That will be disclosed. Yes. But I was exactly. just trying to understand whether you just have revenue, the, the unexpended revenue, or are there a few funds left or... Are, are there other sources of revenue that we'll are be getting to that when we go over these articles? Sitting there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We'll Excellent. That, okay? okay. Thank you. Yeah. Just um, although when you said that the the town gave you a hundred thousand, I thought, boy, I asked the right question tonight. Actually, it was more than that. The the first the three payments this past year it was a hundred and six thousand. Oh. Each time. But Actually, you should consider that the. Uh, the agreement that Treasurer LaBranch has with the town mm -hmm. is actually an advantage to the town. Mm -hmm. State law requires that the town pay monthly mm -hmm. what is due to the village district. Mm -hmm. That's what we do for the schools. It's required by state law unless there's an agreement between the, the treasurers. Yeah. Now, <coughs> by by the practice, system. they were doing uh, what. Steve just described, mm -hmm. but they weren't. They didn't have an agreement. Now they have an agreement that's structured. Okay, Makes so it more even. everyone knows what everyone's responsibilities are, so it's clear and clean. Good okay. and, and transparent. That, and that saves us money on borrowing to meet yeah. that deadline for you. Mm -hmm. But in return, it puts the burden on you, so that you end up at the end of the year with enough to carry you through to yeah. that point. So it works for everybody. Mm -hmm. And just in a reflection in our new format, um, perhaps for presentation next year, a line of closeout by the end of the year. The way you are. Well, I, I can, yes. it, yeah, I can, I mean, no matter what date you pick, the number keeps changing because, yeah. believe it or not, we keep getting bills mm -hmm. every month, so, so I'm always writing checks. The only thing, Stephen, is that it gives us a reflection one year to the next. Okay. Because by such a date at the end of, 2014 and 2015, no matter what they pick, yeah. okay. all right, it's going to give you a reflection if we were from one year to yeah. the next. All right, I will Madam, include that. Madam Chairman, what I would recommend possibly in October after the tax rate is set, mm -hmm. the selectmen get a statement as a result of the tax rate setting showing what was surrendered from surplus, what uh, what calculations were used? The DRA gives you that form. I don't know whether they give the precinct such a form, they but do. if they do, for example, if the 2013 precinct tax rate <coughs> setting form mm -hmm. was included, so you don't have to be a magician trying to figure out this October, but I think that would give the budget committee a little guidance. What is the date that you <coughs> set that, though? What, what date do you determine that? Well, that would be all done. I mean, that's been done. Done, but that's not the question. Uh, which, which, what's it's the, the question? tax rate setting sheet. That's done, okay, that's, yeah, but that's I, done by DRA. And yeah, yes, I, I do get a copy because I need it for the accountant so he can do the audit. Right. So. Um, and we, because we get a, copy, get a copy as well of the so town the share, not not the precinct. Mm -hmm. I have. You, yeah, just I want, you just want him to bring a copy in the next budget committee meeting. Is that, is that what I mean? No, what That's I'm what saying is when the annual budget is presented, say now this is being presented for 2014. Right, I would like to see the sheet from DRA that resulted from the tax rate setting last October. Right. So that you could see the prior year. Right. I don't so expect when you come here next year, bring the bring the 2014 sheet in That's from DRA. 
and it will show what was surrounded. Bring an extra piece of paper, Steve. I will. I'll make sure I bring it. As a matter of fact, I actually don't have it right now because I had to bring all the stuff up yeah, to the accountant. That, that's and the auditor is doing the audit right now. It's actually going to be. That's fine. But it's just in anticipation of making make the budget. Pre I think it would be good for the budget committee to view that as we can view the printout from the for the town. Um, tax rate set. It's another step in your continuous improvement process, Stephen. Thank you. <laughs> and I have some spelling <laughs> corrections, but we'll do that after the meeting. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry.